Hey, what's up guys, Malik is here. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to take your basketball videos to the next level with this amazing effect. This effect was inspired by an old Neo Geo game called Street Hoop. And as you can see, when the player jumps, you can see a blue trail behind him. And when he dunks, the camera starts shaking and flashing. So let's get started. So this is the video that we're gonna work with. <laughs> Three toes, man. Are you scared? Oh, he's right, yeah, he's Come right. on, man. Now let's cut our video clip to the start the action let's start here create a cut here and just end it when the ball enters the basket like this let's create a new fusion clip and go to fusion now we're gonna add the magic mask and connect our media into the magic mask like this and let's create a mask around our player so something like this this looks good now let's track it and it doesn't matter if the tracking is perfect so we just need the guy to appear most of the time now after that we're gonna add a duplicate node after the magic mask then connect our duplicate to the media in with the merge node like this so this is what we have so far now go to duplicate and create maybe five copies in the time offsets we needed to we need to make it minus five so they appear behind the player you can see they appear behind him and make sure to check merge ender so they appear underneath the original video so this is what we have so far now we need to make uh, to make it a little bit uh, transparent so in the blend bring it down a little bit so the last one will become more transparent like this go to blur add a little bit of blur and increase the blue scale so we make it bluish something like this and bring the alpha scale a little bit like this so this is what we have if you want to add a little bit of space be between these copies you can go to the time offset and change it to maybe minus 10 and you can see that we have a little bit of delay be between these copies but I think minus five is still good. So this is what we have to do in order to create this effect. If we go back to the edit, this is what we have so far. You can see that it takes a little bit of time to render the fusion clip, but this is what we have. Now we need to create a copy of this one and we need just about 10 frames. So maybe something like this and now right click go to change clip speed and select freeze frame so okay i don't know go back to change clip speed freeze frame yeah this is what we need i think 26 to 6 is fine or maybe we can extend it a little bit 15 frames now bring this back here and create a new copy by clicking alt and drag below it right click new fusion clip go to fusion and we're gonna create a mask around the basket and the player so let's add a polygon and start drawing from here something like this it doesn't need to be 100 percent perfect just quick mask like this So this is what we have. Let's connect it to our media in and increase the soft edge a little bit like this. Now create a duplicate of the media in and add a magic mask. So we need to draw a mask around our player. Something like this. And remove the floor like this. Yeah, maybe we need to draw around the hand too and the basket and click on track forward and then connect it with the merge to the media in. So this is what we have. Now, in order to add the flash behind the player, we're going to add a, a background and change the color to white. After the background, we're going to add a color gain and make sure to press on lock RGB. Now connect the merge to the color gain like this and connect our merge to the media outer 
So we have something like this. Now, in order to create the flash, we need uh, to make it transparent. Each frame, one white and one transparent. So go to color gain, bring the alpha down, add the keyframe here, go to the next frame and bring the gain down to zero. After that, go to spline, make sure to uh, show selected only to only show only selected tool. Click on gain, click Control A to select all the keyframes and click on set ping pong so this is what we have white transparent white transparent and so on if we go back to the edit page you can see wait for it to render and this is what we have now let's add the camera shake so go to generator let's add the adjustment clip above the fusion clip go to open effect or effect now open effect, search for camera shake and add it to our adjustment clip. Increase the motion scale to two and the speed scale to two and maybe uh, zoom amplitude a little bit. And this is what we have. Now, if we enable the audio again, we can add maybe a little bit of audio effect, something like this and decrease the sound of them a little bit so this is the final result so if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask i hope you like this tutorial make sure to like subscribe and i will see you in the next one